Hi there gorgeous, hope you're having a fabulous day. The product I'm bringing to you today is so unique. And this is one that is going viral on TikTok right now because it is utterly fascinating. This is from a Korean beauty brand. I want to say the name is Vu Di Poulang. I think that is the name of it. If you can read it, that's what it is. I found this on Amazon for $17 and it is a frozen moisturizer. You stick it in the freezer. <laughs> and that's how you use it. Now, why, what are the benefits of this? This is what it says. It provides skin brightening, wrinkle care, it's very soothing, hydrating, and it will tighten your pores. So I tested this one out over the past week and I filmed it on a day when I was wearing makeup to see how it would wear under makeup and I also applied it as part of my nightly routine, which I will show you more in depth as we get later on into the video. And I'll let you know. Is it really all it's cracked up to be or is it just a gimmick? So I'm waiting on my hair to dry and I have my whitening trays in. So if I sound funny, that's why. That's what it looks like up close. It is very, very cold. <laughs> oh my. That actually feels really good despite that my hands are like icicles right now. This feels really nice on the skin. I could see this working really well for somebody who suffers with puffiness, especially under the eyes. I know sometimes if I don't sleep enough, I will get this really heavy puffiness right here. And so I did apply some of it under my eye there and it just felt really good. <laughs> Actually, you can see it. It's, I had a little bit of puffiness here because you can see it on this eye and it's diminished after I applied that cream. Can you tell? How it's a little puffy right there but it's a little less puffy over here so it does sink right into the skin and as i'm touching my forehead right now it's almost dry up here here it's still a little tacky to the touch not major but you can still feel it damp on the skin scent i know a lot of people ask about the scent no scent Nothing. Now on this side over here, I'm going to apply my traditional moisturizer that I would usually use. And today I'm using the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer simply because I want to see if the moisturizer is going to affect how my makeup wears over the top as opposed to a moisturizer that I'm very familiar with and one that I use all the time. And I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Powder Foundation today. I have been using this almost exclusively since I discovered it in that wear test I did last Friday. I love this stuff. All right, so we are going to pat that into the skin. I got so excited about applying the powder, I forgot to apply my concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind here today. Eye bags be gone. Well, so far so good, it looks gorgeous. I didn't struggle with any part of the application. The moisturizer didn't feel sticky as I was applying the powder and the powder glided right over the top of it. So I like it so far. Everyone is asleep. It's quiet. <laughs> so I'm going to take everything off. But before I do, I wanted to show you what my face looks like up close here. I have had this moisturizer powder foundation combo on for, I want to say it's almost it's almost nine hours at this point, if not over nine hours, but you can see it did not affect how the powder foundation wore over the top. It's slightly dewy, slightly, but it's not greasy at all. And you can see on this side, same exact thing with that e.l.f. moisturizer I used earlier. So this held up really well underneath makeup all day long and I'm pretty impressed to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything off. I'll walk you through my routine of how I take everything off at the end of the night and I don't have my mic in here so if I sound a little echoey I just didn't feel like setting it up okay I just <laughs> no. Sometimes you just have to go with it. Oh yes. So there are two products I've been going in between lately to take my makeup off and they are the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. And then this little sample that I've been trying from a company called Pharmacy. It's a Korean beauty brand. It's Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So essentially the same thing, just from two different companies. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. one tonight. And I just take a little bit of this. And it's really all you need is like that. Rub it in between your fingers. 
apply it on dry skin and it will start to dissolve all the makeup. Can you see it? Can you see it working? I can't, but <laughs> I feel it. I can feel the mascara coming off of my fingers. Okay, I can't see you. I'm not gonna open my eyes either. But the next thing that I do is I will wash my face in the sink or in the shower with the e.l.f. <laughs> Mint Foaming Cleanser. I think that's what this is called. It's called, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I love this stuff currently and that's what I use to wash the residue off. <sighs> okay, then dry the skin off. I love that stuff. It just, it makes your skin feel so refreshed. Then I take one of my cotton bamboo reusable pads and I apply the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant. I don't do this every night. I mean, I can't because my skin gets really sensitive to it if I do. So I usually do this about two to three times a week and I will just put it over the skin like that. I have been using the Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream at night because this is such a heavy eye cream. Oh gosh, it's heavy, but it's great for nighttime. <laughs> Someone has been in it. Hmm. It's actually really cute right now because Gia is watching me at night when I do my skincare routine and she always puts her hand out and asks for, asks for some. So I give her a little bit of moisturizer on her hands and Jet participates too for that matter. I mean, the both of them really love it and they both We'll put it on the tips of their fingers, they'll rub it in really soft, and then they'll go like this. It is the most adorable thing you have ever seen. <laughs> I know some people say that you don't need eye cream. I've heard that so many times. I am telling you, when I don't use it, I can see such a difference in how my makeup applies. It, it makes a world of difference for me personally, and so I cannot go without applying moisturizer on my eyelids day and night. I mean, it's a must. And then for my face, I am using the Paula's Choice Clinical Retinol. It's this one right here. And this is another one that I do not apply every night. This is one that I use maybe once a week. I'm not saying that's how often you have to use it. You have to figure out what works best for your skin, but I don't need it much more than that. And if I use it more than that, I tend to get a little sensitive to it. Okay, we're gonna let that sink in a little bit and I'm going to go get the moisturizer out of the freezer. <laughs> okay, I got it. I wanna share with you, by the way, if you're curious about what this is like before you put it in the freezer, the consistency is likened to, oops, I would say the Laneju sleeping mask. Let me get mine. If you look at the consistency of this, that is what the frozen moisturizer looks like when you first get it. It's really thick, actually, but you can feel how water-packed it is. I mean, it's, it's just packed with hydration. And you don't have to put it in the freezer. The first day that I got this, I applied it on my hands before I went to bed, and I was amazed at how moisturized the back of my hands felt when I woke up the next day. And it didn't go on greasy. It dried just like it did today when I applied it earlier underneath the makeup. And so it's been sitting in the freezer a little bit longer this time around, and it's had a chance to really solidify there much more than it had earlier. And I mean, it is like ice now. It is pure ice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taking a chunk of ice there. I'm glad I let it sit in the freezer a little bit longer so you can see what truly happens the longer it sits there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Whoa. Oh, but it just sinks right into the skin and it feels, oh, it feels so good. I feel like the consistency is actually better after it's been sitting in the freezer. I feel like it's thicker the longer that it sits in the freezer. As weird as this looks, it feels amazing. <laughs> crackle, crackle, pop on your skin. If you have used a Korean sheet mask, that's what this feels like. It feels like the essence from one of those sheet masks. It's a very rich, thick consistency. 
That's what was so surprising to me about it earlier when I applied it underneath the makeup was how quickly it sunk into the skin and how well the makeup wore over it throughout the day. Finally, I apply a lip mask. This is the one from Milani. It's the Rose Butter Lip Mask because you can't forget your lips. So that's pretty much it, and that's all I apply at night. And right now I'm heading off to go make myself some dinner. <laughs> it's 9.30 at night and I still have not eaten. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to wear this throughout the night. Obviously, I'll give you a checkup, check, a checkup. I'll give you a check in tomorrow on my skin and I'll let you know what it feels like, how it held up throughout the night. And I feel like that's another important factor when you are testing out a moisturizer. So I will see you in the morning. After applying this to my skin in the nighttime routine that you saw there and having it on all night, this is what my face looked like the morning after. I felt like it was very hydrated. My skin felt extremely smooth. It wasn't greasy. The product had been absorbed completely and I had this radiant glow on my skin. I absolutely love this stuff. What I love the most about it is that it's multi-purpose. You can use it underneath makeup, you can use it at night, and it does depend on how much you apply as to how long it will take to really sink into the skin. I noticed when I applied it at night, <laughs> I applied a little bit too much, which is okay, but it was, it felt very, yeah, my, my skin felt very moisturized after having done that, but I noticed when I did apply it underneath the makeup, I applied a little bit less, and I feel like that really helped it to wear much better on my skin. Not saying that if you applied a lot that it wouldn't wear well, but in my experience, that's what I found. And I forgot to mention it in the beginning, but I have an oily complexion, so usually finding a moisturizer that can multi-purpose like this is really rare. Usually I have to use one specifically for under makeup and then one specifically for a nighttime routine. So it's nice to be able to find one that you can use both ways. Let me know if you've had the opportunity to try this out. Is is really cool. I love it. And if you're interested in it, I'll have it linked for you below. Thanks for being here, for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a beautifully blessed weekend ahead and I look forward to seeing you again next week.